Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made these custom Hennessy labels since I got so many questions about them. So I actually made them on my phone. So first we're going to go to Google and we're just going to type in blank Hennessy label template and then you'll see all these different pictures come up here the first picture was a blank one you also can go into pinterest and look for um this as well so we're going to go through the images and we found the blank one as you can see so we're going to save that one to our phone but i'm also i want to show you guys another i want to show you guys how you edit an actual real hennessy label and so i'm going to find a clear picture of a Hennessy label and I'm going to show you how to edit it because that one will have all the print and all the extra stuff that's on um, a real Hennessy label so we're just looking for a clear one and here we are so we're going to use this one I'm going to show you how to edit out the word Hennessy and add an actual name so now we're going to go to Canva and I actually have the free version of Canva um, they have a pro version that you can pay for where you get more features so I'm going to go in and type Instagram post and I'm going to get a blank Instagram post and then we're going to upload that picture into Canva. So this is the first blank one that we saved to our phone. And so I'm just going to make it big enough so we can see it and see you starting out with the blank canvas here with just the little border from the Hennessy label. So now we're going to add some text to that. So we're going to go into the text of Canva and we're going to find a text that um, we think is similar to the text for the actual Hennessy label. And so I usually use this text here and um, the word is James and Katie. I don't know the name of it, but so it's kind of similar to the text on the Hennessy label so we're going to edit that we're just going to change that name and we're just going to use the name Michael we're just using a generic name and that's how easy it is to just change that name so you can add other stuff to this label you can add happy birthday you can add age you can add special special messages and so we're going to add happy birthday so we're going to use that same text we're going to go back to that same text and then we're going to edit that text and then on the actual Hennessy label they have like some font that's like a burgundy color on there so we're going to change happy birthday we're going to make this say happy birthday and then we're going to make it smaller so it fits within our little border and then we're going to change it to like a burgundy color to make it kind of look like the real Hennessy label and we're just going to place that happy birthday under the michael You'll see here, we have the happy birthday and now I'm looking for a red color. And so sometimes you can't find like the actual color you're looking for. So go down to the colors that they give you and find a color that's close to the color. So I found a regular red and then it'll give you like the little rainbow thing where you can open it up and go to the actual shade of like red or burgundy that you're looking for so that's what we did and we changed it and we're just going to put that happy birthday up under michael like i said you can add other messages happy anniversary congratulations you can make this label say whatever you wanted to say and so now at the top we're going to add an age at the top in that little space at the top so we're going to say that michael's turning 35. so we use that same font and we're going to put that 35 up at the top and then we're going to change it to like that golden color of the leaves that are going around. So um, usually when you upload a picture to Canva, it gives you like all of the different colors that are in the image. So it makes it easy for you to kind of match up colors. So we changed that 35 to that and that's it, guys. You're just going to download this with the little arrow that's at the top in the top right hand corner and then it saves to your phone and you're done you made your custom label so now i want to show you how to actually edit a the other hennessy like a real hennessy label so we're going to do another blank instagram post i do instagram because it just gives you a blank square um and so we're going to upload that other picture of the hennessy label that we found from our phone we're going to make it bigger 
this is the actually you see all the different stuff that's on the Hennessy label so we're gonna make it bigger so we can see it and then we're just gonna crop that um the rest of those images out at the top so now we have the hennessy label so now we're going to use you see how it says very special cognac we're going to leave all of that all that we're going to change this time is the name we're going to take off hennessy and we're going to just put a name there so we're going to go back to our same font that james and katie font and so this time we're going to use uh sabrina so if you see if we try to put sabrina over hennessy you'll still be able to see Hennessy. So we're going to need to cover up that Hennessy. So what we're going to do is we're going to search in Canva. We're going to search under a banner. We're going to search for a banner. So we went into elements down at the bottom of the screen. And when you go into elements, you can type in anything. So I'm typing in banner. It's just going to bring us up a bunch of different banners. Like I said, I have the free version. So we want the ones that say free or don't say anything. The ones that say pro, you have to have the upgraded version or you have to pay for it. So now I found just a simple white banner. And so we are going to change that banner to the same color as the background. Like I said, they all, they already give you the colors at the bottom um, that match up with the image once you upload it. So we're just going to make that banner as big as um, we need it to be to cover up the actual word Hennessy. And don't worry about the size. You just need it to be wide enough to cover up Hennessy because then we're going to actually crop that. So as long as you can get it wide enough to cover up the entire word of Hennessy you don't have to worry about how long it is because you can crop the size so that's what I'm doing here so you'll just see me making it bigger and bigger until I get it to be big enough to cover up the entire word of Hennessy so I'm just playing with it a little bit and then once I get it to be the exact size that I need just to cover up the word Hennessy because we want to keep everything else that's on there I am going to go into the crop tool at the bottom of the screen and then it'll let me crop um, just to cover up the word Hennessy and there we go. Now we have the blank space. We're going to take that Sabrina and slide it right in there. How easy was that guys? I'm just trying to center it and then we're going to go to the top right of the screen and we're going to download this image and save it to our phone. Okay, so I'm going to show you one step further. I'm going to show you how you turn it into an edible image for a cupcake or a cake. So now we are in our app called Pages. And so as you can see the app. So first we're going to go in and crop those pictures. We want to crop all the extra space from around these pictures because when we're sizing it, we need as least of um, extra space around it as possible so that we can make sure that when we size it, we're sizing it correctly. So I'm just going, I'm actually in my photos um, cropping all the extra space from around it. So now we're going to go into the pages app and we're going to do a new document. And so I always size my cupcake toppers to 2.5 in width. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just playing with it. Sometimes you can't get it exact, but I try to get it as close to 2.5 in width as possible. So that's what I did here. And so that's all you would do to create a cupcake topper. And so now I'm just going to go in and copy and paste, copy and paste. And then you can um, duplicate that image over and over and over again, how many times you need it. And that's as easy as it is to create cupcake toppers and you usually can get about 12 of these on one sheet um when you're printing them for edible images and so once um i duplicated them all i'm just moving them around like i said you want to leave some space um you want to leave a space at the top and bottom of your page um for when you print because sometimes your pages can be a little off um and you don't want to go too close to the edge because it will cut your picture off when you print it so now we have the michael one that we made and we're just doing the exact same thing i uploaded it into pages and i'm sizing it to 2.5 as well like i said for cupcakes i always size my 
images to 2.5. So I'm just showing you the difference. So as you can see, the Michael one um, was completely blank. So you can write whatever you want in there. But as you can see, it didn't give me the border. It doesn't look to me as nice as the Sabrina one, the actual label that gives you the border. So you can choose to use any one you want. So you actually could have went in on the Sabrina one and took all the text out. Um, with a bigger box that I showed you and wrote everything that you wanted so you get like the nicer label with the border around it So now I'm sizing the Sabrina one to show you what I would do for an actual cake So for a cake, I know that my cakes are about six inches tall So I make all of my images if I'm going to put it on the front of an eight inch cake I make my images about five inches tall and about four and a half inches wide so that's what I did. I just sized it to that. So now you see me, um, you're going to press export. And so it'll give you the option to either print or to send it to a friend or email it. And you want to convert it to a PDF because I know I send my images to my local cake shop to be printed. So they always ask that the pictures are converted to a PDF. And so this is if you had an edible printer and you were just printing it yourself. So this is how the images will actually open up into an email if you were going to send it to someone to print for you. And like I said, no matter what you're doing with these images, whether it's printing it or sending it to be printed for an edible image, you always want to convert it to a PDF and then you can go ahead and use it from there. But that's as easy as it is, guys. And if you're using it for a real bottle, you'll just get the actual dimensions of a real label on a Hennessy bottle and you'll size it in that Pages app to the same size. But that is it guys so if you guys have any extra questions you want to see any other videos on how to edit images let me know but thank you guys so much for watching bye sweet 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 love.